now on Coast TV News. It's a mild start to Halloween. We've got temperatures beginning in the 60s. It will be one of the warmest Halloweens on record. Details on that. Plus, we tied the record for driest periods in Delaware. Details coming up. Rain, rain come this way. The growing concerns on Delmarva as we continue to deal with the drought. A shocking sign. This is what people saw in Sussex County. We have the controversy involving Delaware's transgendered candidate for the House of Representatives. L.A. winning night. Start the party, Los Angeles. Your Dodgers have won the World Series. Yeah, L.A. winning night, the dominating effort that produced a World Series championship for the Dodgers. This is Coast TV News Today. It is Thursday, October 31st, 2024. Good morning, I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, everyone. I'm Paige Marley. Thanks for being up with us during our 5 o'clock hour. Paige, it's Halloween. It is yeah. here. We have been talking about it. I'm sure this is a big day at school for a lot of the young students yeah. out there. It's also the last day of October. Yeah, I cannot believe it, how fast this year is flying by. That means that you can start playing your Christmas music does tomorrow. It, does it? Yes, without any judgment from me. I might be judging. <laughs> Matt might be judging, <laughs> but you pick what makes you happy. All right. But yeah, a lot of trick-or-treaters, so be careful on the roads tonight. But uh, yeah. I'm thinking maybe some dry conditions. We'll bring in Bob to see. Bob, it's an educated guess that it'll be dry today. <laughs> That is a very good educated guess, Paige, because we are looking at very dry conditions, not a drop of rain for the month of October, at least nothing measurable. More on the drought coming up, but it is a mild start to our Halloween 65 in Bethany Beach. Rehoboth is 66, Delmar 62, Georgetown 63. Winds are light, but they're coming out of the southwest and they'll pick up during the day. We'll really warm up as we go through your Halloween. Looking at mainly clear skies this morning, we have a building ridge of high pressure over the top of us with lots of sinking air that's getting compressed as it's getting pushed down. So that is warm air as we go into your Halloween afternoon. So here's future cast this morning, 60s early on, and then we're quickly warming into the upper 70s in some places by noon around 70. Long Neck, Georgetown, 76. Fenwick Island, 74. Getting breezy this afternoon. That means elevated fire danger. And of course, uh, we've got trick-or-treaters starting to mill about as we go into the afternoon. Highs around 80 degrees. <clears throat> then as we go into this evening, very mild for the trick-or-treaters with temperatures into the 70s. Day part forecast has us once again near record high temperatures for your Halloween. I'm expecting right around 81 degrees. More mild weather into Friday, then a cool down for the weekend. More on that. I'll have the scare cast for the trick-or-treaters and more on the continued drought conditions coming up a little bit later in the newscast. All right, Bob, we'll look forward to that. And as you heard Bob say, it's been a long time since we've had some rain and it has led to burn bans. It's also bringing some anxious moments for local farmers. Yeah, Coast TV News reporter Elisa Weber is live right now in Milford. Elisa, this drought is also affecting local businesses. Matt and Paige, I'm currently at a farm here in Milford. As you can see, there's a lot of pumpkins around me, which is the perfect place to be on Halloween. But as Bob mentioned, it is still dry. We haven't received any rain, any measurable rain in October. And in fact, we have not received any measurable rain in 34 days, which is a tie for the longest drought that we've had since 1945. And a burn ban is in effect due to fire hazards due to those dry conditions as well as the strong winds. That burn ban has now expanded to the sale and the use of fireworks. While rain can ruin your outdoor activities, this drought has severely impacted the agricultural industry in Sussex County. Later on, we're actually going to hear from a farmer who is going to tell us what it's like to be in the ag agricultural industry during a drought and how difficult his business has been during the past month. Back to you. Lisa Weber, thank you for that. And we're now seeing some additional action by Delaware officials. Governor John Carney issued a statewide drought watch that asked people to be mindful of their water use. And in Rehoboth Beach, the city says it has turned off all irrigation. According to the Water Department Supervisor Robert Downs, the city is aiming to be safe rather than sorry. It doesn't want to reach the point of running out of water, so it is taking these additional steps. New this morning, District 36 in Sussex County includes Lincoln, Ellendale, the south half of Milford, and Slaughter Beach. And running for re-election there is Brian Shoup, the Republican candidate who has been in the seat since 2018, against the Democratic candidate Ronnie Baltazar Lopez, who is the youngest and first Latino member ever to be elected to the Milford School District Board. Campaign funding, that's actually been a big issue in this race. 
the same narrative that the developers have of why I'm against development, and that's because you know it's in my backyard. And I know that he's working with the developers because it's that same narrative continued again. And the real reason I'm against this development is because these developers not only have abused our neighbors in the past, and I've helped them. My values are unwavering, and if Representative Shute wants to um uh, attack me on on those merits then he should do something about um, you know holding developers accountable instead of trying to um, attack me on on something that um, I'm not the representative for now earlier this month the candidates held a town hall where they addressed voter questions about their campaigns persuading voters with less than a week before the election happening today in less than two hours actually early voting locations in Maryland will open for the final time. According to NBC News, over 1.3 million mail-in and early ballots have been cast so far in the state. Early voting sites open at 7 this morning. They close tonight at 8. In Worcester County, there's only one site. That's the Powell Convention Center. A full list of Eastern Shore early voting locations can be found on the Coast TV News app and website. It's one hateful sign, and it's leading to backlash from an entire community. Sarah McBride, a transgender woman running for Congress, has the chance to be the first ever openly transgender person elected to that position. And this sign has gotten people in Sussex County talking. There's an amendment that says there can be no discrimination on the basis of sex. And that's the law of the land and uh, that's it. It's irrelevant. It's like the color of her hair or something, you know. Coast TV did reach out to the McBride campaign about these signs. They declined to comment. State Senator McBride is from Wilmington. She was elected to the Delaware Senate in 2020. She served as the national spokesperson for the Human Rights Campaign. And all this brings us now to our Coast TV poll. We want to know, how do political signs influence your vote? All right, you can take a look at the percentages so far on your screen. Hey, if you haven't voted yet, you can yeah. still do so at coasttvnews.com or our mobile app. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you. All right, well, don't forget to make sure you tune in to Coast TV for our preview week coverage. We're going to be airing exclusive candidate interviews that focus on the races that will impact all of us here on Delmarva. And with five days to go to the election, the campaign sprint reaching top speed. Former President Trump, Vice President Harris heading west today, pulling out all the stops with political stars and celebrities oh, yeah. to get out the vote. NBC's Alice Barr shows us how the two candidates are now trying to rake in their last-minute supporters. The presidential nominees making a battleground blitz across the Southwest today after both holding big events in Wisconsin. We're going to bring back our country. Are we ready to win? In this final stretch, Vice President Harris centering reproductive rights as part of a larger fight for freedoms. The government shouldn't be telling her what to do with her body. As former President Trump again said he wants to protect American women, noting that's despite advice from his advisors. Well, I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. I'm going to protect them. The former president wearing a safety vest after posing in a garbage truck. The latest salvo in a controversy stemming from a comedian at the Trump Madison Square Garden rally calling Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage, prompting this from President Biden. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. You can't lead America if you don't love Americans. President Biden and the White House clarifying that he was only referring to the comedian. Vice President Harris quickly distancing herself. I strongly disagree with any criticism of people based on who they vote for. I will be a president for all Americans, whether you vote for me or not. Democrats pointing to a track record of inflammatory rhetoric from former President Trump, including this against Democrats this week. Uh, this is a sick group of people, I'm telling you, and there's a great evil. A war of words with five days to go. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Happening now, Delaware Senators Tom Carper and Chris Coons are leading the charge on a bipartisan effort for the Biden administration to issue more H-2B visas. It's in an effort to combat seasonal staffing shortages. The two senators, along with 38 of their colleagues, sent letters to the Department of Homeland Security asking that the maximum allowable number of H-2B visas be released for fiscal year 2025. The goal, according to their letter, is to help small businesses meet their workforce needs. 
And breaking news from overnight, the Los Angeles Dodgers have won the World Series by taking Game 5 at Yankee Stadium. It was New York that actually jumped out to a 5-0 lead, but this eighth-inning sacrifice fly by Mookie Betts brought home Tommy Edmond with the eventual game-winning run. It is the seventh World Series title for the Dodgers since relocating to Los Angeles in 1958. Happening today, get out your costumes, indulge that sweet tooth. Of course, it's Halloween. Communities in Delaware and Maryland will be hosting trick-or-treating this evening. And according to Del Mar, Maryland, their hours there are from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. In Berlin, that runs from 5 to 7 p.m. Salisbury officials say their hours are 5 to 8, and Snow Hill will echo those hours as well. Then in Delaware, Greenwood will hold a trunk or treat at United Methodist Church. That's from 6 to 8. Mills Bros. Halloween night runs from 6 to 8 at Town Hall. Grab your candy in Bridgeville and in Lewis as well from 6 to 8. And don't forget you can head to our website for a full list of events that are happening today. The only BMX track in Delaware is here to stay. The city of Milford approved a five-year lease with First State BMX. The nonprofit located behind the high school has more than 200 members and has many races throughout the year. Riders on the big track range from three years old to people in their mid-60s. Wow, good for you guys. All right, we're just getting started this morning on Coast TV News Today. Yeah, coming up, regulating rentals. So you have a debate in Ocean City over short-term rentals and why one landlord says new rules will have a negative impact. Also ahead, fighting off brush fires, how one expert says the current drought can impact possible, possible brush fires, and we have an update on that burn ban. And this week on Coastal Connection, one of Lewis's heroes on a sad anniversary, we look at the pride brought to the Delaware coast and as the 1960s space race was heating up. All that and more as Coast TV News Today continues. We get an ID on the jumper. He recorded us having sex. She's gonna send them to everyone she knows unless she pays up. We're dealing with a sex extortion ring. There are hundreds of victims. SVU, new tonight on NBC and Peacock. She disappeared seven years ago. We have no eight. Clearly, you need my help. We can't work with him or it's never going to end. We're running out of time. I have to bring her home. So, are we partners? Found new tonight on NBC and Peacock. Hello! What's funky, fun, and fabulous? The Pottery Place in Fenwick Island. Explore over 12,000 square feet of fabulous finds. From furniture to gifts, home decor, art, pottery, housewares, and more. New pieces arrive weekly, hand-selected for the ultimate unique shopping experience. Looking for something extra special? Special orders and free local delivery is available. We have everything under the sun. There's something for everyone. The Pottery Place in Fenwick Island, Delaware. A family tradition for over 50 years. You ever just wanna... <laughs> yeah. That's fall in Pennsylvania. You can't spell plaid without PA, and that's no coincidence. There's a reason folks fawn over our foliage, pine for our pumpkins, and sigh for our apple cider donuts. Fall is just fallier here. It's almost not fair to the other states, so get here. Pennsylvania, the great American getaway. Swim on over to Solero atop the Henlopen Hotel in Rehoboth Beach for the 2024 Mayor Institute Finraiser. Come out to the kickoff event Saturday, November 16th at 4 p.m. Enjoy a fun-filled evening, live music, and a wine tasting with celebrity bartenders, hors d'oeuvres, desserts, and both live and silent auctions. The Finraiser is the premier fundraising event for Mayor Institute and endangered marine mammals and sea turtles. For more info and tickets, go to mayorinstitute.org. There's a stretch of Route 9 in Lewis called Freeman Highway. You may know the road, but maybe not the story behind it. In today's Coastal Connections, we look at the 60th anniversary of the death of Ted Freeman. And as Matt Pensick shows us, he's one of our locals who almost became one of the few to walk on the moon. Three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. July 16th, 1969, Apollo 11 blasted off from Cape Kennedy in Florida, beginning one of the greatest journeys in all of history. There is really nothing to say about it. What can you say about a site like that? The moon landing nine days later was the first of six such missions. Only 12 astronauts have walked on the moon. One very well could have been Lewis's Ted Freeman. That was definitely the, the pathway. 
that uh, that was what his 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 passage was to, to step on the moon. There was an interview that Michael Cassatt did with uh, Deke Slate, and you know he had asked him, you know, if if Freeman had not perished, would he have been selected for a flight? And there seemed to be the feeling, at least on his part, that he would have been um, named to an early flight, perhaps on Gemini, because he was one of the best and most skilled pilots in his class. On October 31st, 1964, Freeman's pilot skills could not overcome a fluke encounter with a flock of geese. While flying in a T-38 Talon on his way to NASA's Houston Space Center, where Freeman was based, the jet hit the flock. He had to make a decision about whether or not to eject, and he ejected too late is what they concluded at that point. He died immediately upon impact. He was the first astronaut to perish. You know, there was always this feeling that someone might die trying to get to the moon. Uh, but nobody thought it would be in an aircraft just outside of Ellington Air Force Base. Freeman's death was a shock to the astronaut community and his family and friends in Lewis. It was a, a terrible, terrible blow because uh, we had been aware that he was being pointed out for great things. Freeman's calling to the skies had its start near the waters of the Delaware coast. We knew that he was interested in flying and would be down at the airport quite often. But he was just known, really, as quite a nice young man. In 1963, nearly 10 years after serving as an Air Force pilot, Freeman was introduced to a nation with space fever as part of the third ever astronaut class. Captain Ted Freeman of the Air Force, stationed at Edwards Air Force Base, hometown Lewis, Delaware. People are extremely interested. We don't have a lot of astronauts by that point. The term astronaut is a really special term. When people say that word, you know, it's 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 almost magical when when you think about who this person is and what they're going to do. Freeman died before Gemini's first manned mission. He died before man landed on the moon. And here in Lewis, his name lives on. I think we're privileged to live in the era when man will do that which he's of which he has dreamed for generations, for centuries even. It will be a privilege to take part in any capacity, particularly as a pilot. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and it could have easily been Ted Freeman, a name lost in astronaut history, but memorialized forever in the first state. For Coast TV News, I'm Matt Pensick. This morning's weather forecast, courtesy of Bass by Spicer Brothers, a Del Marva tradition for over 20 years. Welcome to the brand new Bass by Spicer Brothers showroom. Experience the future of bathroom remodeling. Bass by Spicer Brothers is Del Marva's exclusive BCI Elite dealer, offering more selections, styles, and colors, including options like the laser etched tile pattern system. Made in the USA, built for beauty and performance, our baths are durable, mold resistant, and guaranteed for life. With no money down, no interest, and no payments until 2026, you have no reason to wait. Call Bath by Spicer Brothers today because you deserve the best. Ride the wave of Delmarva's vibrant coastal vibes with Coast Life. From hidden gems to sun-kissed trends and captivating local tales. Dive deep and immerse yourself in our coastal rhythm. Catch Coast Life weekdays at 4 on Coast TV. Prince George's County politician Angela Alsobrooks may live near D.C., but she'd bring tons of baggage. Nearly two decades of illegal tax breaks, $59,000 in back taxes, and thousands in unpaid bills. A sweetheart tax deal. Typical politician. Slumlord Alsobrooks? Records show she was caught operating an illegal rental property. With so much baggage, how can we trust Alsobrooks to represent us? Maryland's future is responsible for the content of this advertising. Vacation starts with VA. All that you love, all in one trip. Start yours at Virginia.org. For every season, every weather moment, stay ahead with the Coast TV First Alert Weather Phone. Just call 443-880-9100. Your forecast, just a call away. Sponsored by the law offices of Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. 
Get the Coast TV First Alert Weather app with live satellite and radar, severe weather alerts, and extended forecast. Download the free Coast TV First Alert Weather app, sponsored by Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. Time is 520 and you are looking live at Ocean City. Calm conditions there and Bob tonight are trick or treaters. They should have a good one to be able to get some candy. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have some sweet weather, Matt, uh, so to speak, with gorgeous Halloween conditions. A lot of times you'll have to bundle up for Halloween, uh, but not this time around. In fact, it could be near record warmth. Now, since 1945, we've seen Halloween's as warm as 81 degrees in 1946, 1950 and 2019, and I'm expecting right around 81 degrees today. We also had 80 back in 2004 and 78 back in the 60s, the 90s and 2009. So it's a warm Halloween and it's, uh, you know, we've seen a few of these very warm ones and it's going to be wickedly warm for the trick or treaters this evening. Once again, be careful. It's getting darker earlier. Uh, be careful out there for sure. We're looking at temperatures in the mid 70s early on and then falling into the 60s as we go into this evening. So everybody have a safe and happy Halloween. And yes, we have tied the record. The days without rain now up to 34, and that ties 34 days back in October and November of 2001. And there it is right there. We're tied for that, and we are going to eclipse that as we go into tomorrow. I was hoping for a little bit of rain tomorrow with the front, but uh, that's looking unlikely now. So it looks like for sure uh, we'll be solely in first place as we go into tomorrow as far as the dry weather. A dubious distinction for sure. We're looking at temperatures in the 60s out the door, very mild, 64 in Seaford, Ocean City, 66 and 66 in Rehoboth. Winds are light out of the southwest. They'll be picking up throughout the day as we're looking at clear skies now, building ridge of high pressure over us, sinking air, and that flow coming in out of the southwest really warms us up. There is a sharp front across the middle of the country. This kicked off tornadoes and severe weather from Dallas up into the Midwest. Really nasty weather on the cold side, looking at snow in Minnesota. Now, this front's going to lose its punch a little bit as it heads our way, but there is cooler air behind it and not a lot of moisture by the time it gets here. So for your Halloween, we're quickly warming up today through the 60s into the 70s by noon, mid to upper 70s and even warm at the beaches. Bethany Beach 78 mid afternoon, 80 in Long Neck. Winds picking up, kids getting excited to trick or treat and mild this evening with temperatures in the 70s falling into the 60s and we're looking at breezy conditions that keep us very mild into Friday morning. There is a front that swings through. It is starved for moisture by the time it gets to us, but it'll be mild out ahead of that front. Upper 70s around 80 degrees, maybe a shower. Then we start to cool off and it gets pretty breezy and cold into Saturday 40s and 50s to start the day and then highs only into the lower 60s on Saturday. So much cooler, but fire danger is elevated this afternoon with gusty winds up to 30 miles per hour. So watch out for that. The dry conditions continue and also watch for the trick or treaters and then those winds shifting to the north in to the weekend as we do stay dry pretty much right into election day and it starts getting warm again as we go to the polls on Tuesday. Paul Davis seven day forecast 81 today 80 Friday for the weekend cooler 60s clocks go back one hour Sunday morning. Good time to change batteries in the smoke detectors and CO detectors election day very warm 78 but staying dry umbrella winner Edward Falk from Millsboro. Congratulations Edward on your umbrella. Maybe you can use it soon. Hopefully uh, Congratulations from Paul Davis and Coast TV. Thank you, Bob. And uh, as Bob again just said, we will have a dry day again. And we're now in a situation of concern over potential brush fires. It is day 33 without measurable rain, and it's been 15 days since the Delaware State Fire Marshal issued a burn ban. The colorful leaves on the ground and dry crops, they can easily become a brush fire with just one wrong move. And that's why the Assistant State Fire Marshal says not to take the burn ban lightly. We don't put burn bans in uh, that often, and it's just uh, really necessary at this point. Says the dry conditions can turn a one acre fire into anywhere from 10 to 100 acres. And until there's rain, there really are no plans to lift the burn ban. Up next on Coast TV News Today, regulating rentals will tell you what changes the town is considering in Ocean City to its short term situation there. Don't go anywhere.
a simple transaction. This is a car trade. Gets super complicated. They reported the car stolen. And a rough road was ahead. She's driving her car, and she's pulled over by 12 cops. Your Honor, I was also held at gunpoint. We had an active felony warrant. Yes, ma'am. They also found a meth pipe when they searched the vehicle, and you were taken into custody. Yes, ma'am. Okie dokie. Next Judge Judy. Thursday at 2 on... See the beauty of Delmarva from a bird's eye view. Soaring over the shore, Mondays on Coast TV News at 6. Sponsored by Morse Roofing and Siding. You rip and tear your old statements and bills. But thieves use this information to steal your identity. Don't be a victim. Get the ID Police, the new ink roller that encrypts all your old documents. So before you throw it out, just roll it on and your information is gone. Both on the front and through the back. Even if the paper is held up to the light. Even your medical information is safe with the ID police. So block it out before you throw it out. Order now and get your ID police for as low as $9.99. And get free shipping too. This offer is not available on Amazon. So call or click now to get your ID police for as low as $9.99 with free shipping. Order now. Call 1-800-803-0512, that's 1-800-803-0512, or visit getidpolice.com. So call 1-800-803-0512 now. Serving part-time in the Army National Guard has led to a lot of firsts for me. It paid for me to be the first person in my family to go to school and graduate debt-free. That education helped me get to the first day of my career a job that I can still hold while I serve part-time. That job and the home loan benefits I got from my service helped me buy my first home. And I take pride knowing I will be the first to respond if my community ever needs me. To learn more, visit nationalguard.com slash DC. Lighten up your week. Subscribe to the Coast TV Feel Good Friday newsletter. Sign up now for free at coasttv.com. Get your weekly dose of joy directly to your inbox. Short-term rentals are increasing in Ocean City over the last two years. Over 200 rental licenses have been handed out in the town. With no one in sight, the Ocean City Council are looking to add some new regulations. Those would include a minimum length of stay of at least five to seven days. This is for short-term rentals that are single-family homes and manufactured housing. Some like the proposed rule, but one landlord says it would actually hurt his business. Everybody comes down for three to four days. That's what they come to Ocean City for. They don't come for a week anymore because they can't. It's gotten bad. Now, with people split on these changes, the Ocean City Planning Committee has decided to push this to a public hearing. First alert meteorologist Bob Trahe back with us. We have the dry weather and now, Bob, we have one of the warmest days of the fall today. Mm -hmm. And that all adds up to a nice beach day uh, for boaters. It will start getting choppy out there because the winds start picking up as we go into the afternoon. So waves around two to four feet. Fenwick Island in Ocean City, lots of sunshine, breezy winds over 20 miles per hour times and highs into the mid 70s. So maybe a little bumpy ride on the ferry ride up to Cape May from Lewis. We're looking at upper 70s there, mid 70s in Rehoboth. Remember the sunscreen UV index is moderate. Cambridge today, it's a warm Halloween with upper 70s. A little cooler in Crisfield with lower 70s. I'll have much more on the Halloween forecast, the drought, and the extended forecast through Election Day coming up a little later in the newscast. All right, thank you, Bob. Also coming up after the break, our preview 2024 coverage continues today. And we look into another district race in Sussex County. We're going to show you what you need to know about each candidate in that race. Also, coastal water conservation will tell you what new steps Rohit Beach officials are taking to prevent running out of water. And as we mentioned, the dangerous drought continues along our coast. How one farmer says the conditions are impacting pricing for produce. Coast TV News will be right back. 
fall into planning at Bella Terra Garden Center. Autumn is the perfect time of year for planning. Come check out our locally sourced collection of trees and shrubs of all shapes and sizes. Did you know that Bella Terra is open seven days a week? Join our garden club for big savings and first access to all sale promotions. Stocked with the smallest succulents to the tallest of trees, Bella Terra Garden Center is here for all your gardening needs. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Located right off Route 16 in Ellendale. At BSD, we're often asked, what is the most important investment of your home? It's your windows and your kitchen. Our Anderson Window Experts will help you choose and install the perfect budget-friendly replacements. Anderson Windows from BSD will improve energy efficiency and curb appeal. Anderson is the number one trusted window and door brand, backed by the best warranty in the industry. Visit one of our design studios to bring your dream kitchen to life. From inspiration to installation, BSD has you covered. Capstone Homes, Sussex County's locally owned, award-winning, design-build custom home builder. Bringing dreams to life since 2006. Where personalization, luxury, and quality combine to give you the ultimate custom home buying experience. At Capstone, you'll meet with our architectural designer to review your blueprint and make any changes you want. Then you'll customize your home style with our certified interior designer. Connect with our team of custom home experts today at Capstone Homes. Now on Coach TV News. It's a mild start to Halloween. We've got temperatures beginning in the 60s this morning. It will be one of the warmest Halloweens on record. Details on that, plus we tied the record for driest periods in Delaware. All those details coming up. Delmarva drought dilemma. How one farmer in Sussex County has been trying to keep his produce alive as we experience 30 plus days of no rain. Early voting ending, that's what's happening today in Maryland. What you need to know if you want to cast your ballot in the state ahead of Tuesday's general election. Costumes and candy, we get you ready for Halloween tonight all over Delmarva. This is Coast TV News Today. October 31st, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, Paige. Good morning. Thank you all for joining us. I'm Paige Marley. It is 532 mm -hmm. on this Thursday. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. What are you dressing up as? As Matt Pensick. Yeah, I know. Wow. You guys should dress up like Matt Pensick too. You know, yeah, Penn, you Penn State paraphernalia. Okay. And um, maybe like a spatula, like a grilling spatula. You know, I got that Cleveland Browns one that you hooked me up with a few years ago. I did get you that one. And maybe like a beer. Yes. Yes. This is not is, work Pensick though. No, 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 no. No, that's, never a, that's that. that home lounging. Exactly. What are you for Halloween? I'm home lounging Matt Pensick. <laughs> I think that's it a is, good costume. It, hey, it's, it's the popular look this year. But you probably have all that stuff in your house anyways. So there you go. If you need a last minute look, we are here to help. <laughs> but you are going trick-or-treating. Yeah. Uh, Bob is going to help you with that forecast. Bob, looking pretty good trick-or-treating wise. Yeah, uh, good morning, guys. And uh, Matt was thinking I was a Flyers fan because I have an orange <laughs> tie and a blackish kind of jacket. So uh, uh, I'm not a Flyers fan, but uh, I might look like one for Halloween. Uh, we are looking at a warm start to our Halloween, guys. 61 in Delmar, 63 in Georgetown. Ocean City, 66. So just a light jacket out the door. We have a southwest breeze that will pick up during the day and really warm us up. We'll be looking at one of the warmest Halloweens we've seen in some time. As we're looking at clear skies, we have a building ridge of high pressure. You can see uh, how the clouds is kind of are uh, up and down like a upside down U with this building ridge sinking air and that's very warm air. So we're looking at sunshine quickly warming temperatures through the 60s this morning. By noon we're into the upper 70s. A little cooler at the beaches. It'll get pretty breezy there later in the day but inland 70s and low 80s near a record highs as the kids get excited to trick or treat. Drive slow. Watch out. Uh, extended and higher fire danger, I should say, into the afternoon and evening. Very dry conditions and very mild for the trick-or-treaters. Taking the ferry up to Cape May, looking breezy and warm this morning in the 60s to mid-70s by noon, around 75 degrees. All right, Bob, thank you so much. Now, of course, along with Bob, we've been monitoring this drought extensively on Coast TV, as well as learning how it's impacting the DeMarva community. And Coast TV News reporter, Elisa Weber, she's live in Milton. Uh, Elisa, this drought is having a big effect on local businesses. Alford right now, and as you can see, there's a lot of pumpkins and produce behind me. And we have not experienced a measurable rain in 34 days. And the last time we experienced a dry period of 34 days was from October 17th to Novo November 19th, 2001. 
And due to those dry conditions, a burn ban has been in place in Delaware for about two weeks due to concerns over fire hazards from those dry conditions, as we mentioned, and also these strong winds. And that ban has now expanded to the sale and the use of fireworks. While rain can ruin your outdoor activities, this drought has severely devastated the agricultural business in Sussex County. We spoke with one farmer to learn what it is like to be in the agricultural business during a drought. Well, we've, uh, we've slowly increased uh, our prices to cover a little bit of the surcharge of the fuel and, and all that, but uh, some of our customers where we're buying uh, material from, uh, they've had to raise theirs, you know, pretty substantially to cover their cost. Blessing said that since it was warm and dry, the crops actually grew quicker, so their season was shorter. Back to you. Elisa, thank you so much. Now to further all of this in Rehoboth Beach, officials there are pushing locals to curb water use as this drought continues. The city says it's turned off all irrigation, and according to the Water Department Supervisor Robert Downs, the city is aiming to be better safe than sorry. They don't want to reach the point of running out of water, so they are taking these steps ahead of time. This morning we are looking at the State House District 36 race in Delaware. It's a district that includes Lincoln, Ellendale, south half of Milford and Slaughter Beach. Running for re-election is Republican Brian Shoup. He says, or he has been in this seat since 2018. He's going against the Democratic candidate Ronnie Baltazar Lopez, who is the youngest and also first Latino member ever to be elected to the Milford School Board District. Happening today in really just less than two hours, early voting locations in Maryland will be opening for the final day. According to NBC News, already over 1.3 million mail-in and early ballots have been cast so far in Maryland. Early voting sites open at 7 this morning. They do close tonight at 8. In Worcester County, there's one site. That's the Powell Convention Center. And you can find a full list of Eastern Shore early voting locations on our Coast TV News app and on our website. Five days to go to the campaign. The uh, campaign sprint is reaching top speed. Former President Trump and Vice President Harris, they are heading out west today, pulling out all the stops with political stars and celebrities to get out the vote. In this final stretch, Vice President Harris centering on reproductive rights as part of a larger fight for freedoms. As former President Trump again said he wants to protect American women, noting that despite advice from his advisors shouldn't be telling her what to do with her body, not the government. Well, I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. I'm going to protect them. Early voting is still underway in Delmarva, and however those poll times, they are ending soon, including today as we talked about in Maryland. Happening today, don't forget to get out your costume and you can indulge that sweet tooth a little bit. Of course, it's Halloween. Communities in Delaware and Maryland, they're going to be hosting trick-or-treating this evening. So we've got some hours for you. According to Delmar, Maryland, those hours for trick-or-treating are from 6 to 8. In Berlin, that's 5 to 7. Salisbury officials saying their hours are 5 to 8. And Snow Hill echoes those hours as well. Now in Delaware, Greenwood will hold a trunk or treat at United Methodist Church from 6 to 8. Mills Bros Halloween night, that runs from 6 to 8 at Town Hall. Grab your candy in Bridgeville and in Lewis as well from 6 to 8 p.m. Happening down, Delaware Senators Tom Carper and Chris Coons, they're working to have the federal government issue more H-2B visas. This is in an effort to combat seasonal staffing shortages. The two senators, along with 38 of their colleagues, sent a letter to the Department of Homeland Security asking that the maximum allowable number of H-2B visas be released for fiscal year 2025. The goal here, according to the letter, is to help small businesses meet their workforce needs. Rehoboth recycling is at a low, partly because of people, partly because of contamination. Yeah, Coast TV News reporter Brendan Conroy shows us a majority of the items being placed in the blue bins. They're contaminated and they cannot be used again. Recycling in Rehoboth has taken a huge hit recently. According to the city's public works director, only about 1% of what gets dropped off in bags can be reused. The reason, contamination problems, which means 99% of this stuff is heading to the landfill. Fred Oldham says stats like that have made one of his friends flat out give up. He stopped altogether because he said only a small percentage of a percentage is actually being recycled. As for Fred himself, <laughs> 
in my opinion, is, well, that, at least that's something. You know, if you don't do that, you're doing nothing. J.L. Folks has lived in Rehoboth for the past 30 years, and he says he recycles every day. There's no reason not to. How hard is it to recycle a little thing, a couple of things? While not every single item thrown in a blue bin on the boardwalk has the chance to be reused, it does keep clutter from trashing up our beaches, and at least some of it gets a second life. The recycling bins on the boardwalk are labeled like the ones behind me, so finding them isn't the biggest problem. Instead, it's the contamination and not cleaning out your plastics or bags before you toss them in the blue bins. In Rehoboth Beach, Brendan Conroy, Coast TV News. Got a lot more news to get to, don't go anywhere. Including a state playoff field hockey situation underway in Delaware. The scoring surge that ended the season for Indian River. And some devastating footage from a roof collapse that happened on Wednesday. We're going to tell you the early details officials have confirmed. Stick with us on Coast TV News today. Here at the Delmarva Design Center, appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring come together in one showroom. We have specialists in each division, such as myself and countertops, to not only ensure you get the best product to fit your needs, but that your selection fits seamlessly with every element of your project. When I came into the Delmarva Design Center and see that big collection of slabs, that makes really the decision seamless. Delmarva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. Windsor Teak Furniture Thermic Island offers the world's best outdoor benches for your patio, foyer, garden or shower. Over 30 different benches in stock. We have Chippendale, Curved Arm, Lutyen and Traditional. Different styles, rocking benches, swings, backless, counter and bar heart benches. Plus, personalized benches with laser cut images. A Windsor exclusive. We have a bench for you. Drop by your showroom and smell the teak. Or check us out at windsorteakfurniture.com. And remember, teak lasts a lifetime. When you're ready to build an extraordinary custom home or an exceptional commercial building, Brendan T. Warfel is here for you. From high-end residential homes to customized commercial facilities, Brendan T. Warfel will provide you with honest and upfront pricing, personal service, and stunning finished products. Choose quality. Choose Brendan T. Warfel. I build every home as if my family's going to live in it. If my name's going on it. It's going to be done right. I guarantee it. With Brendan T. Warfel, excellence comes standard. Coming up, it's Drew's special Halloween Christmas mashup with the one and only Mariah Carey. What the Queen of Christmas has been up to. I'm making you an Thursday at noon on Coast TV. Five forty-two on this mild start to Halloween. Sixty-four in Lewis. Just a light breeze right now, so just a light jacket out the door on this Halloween. Pretty amazing. We're looking at temperatures right now in the low to mid sixties and a light southwest breeze. It's a mild breeze as well as we're looking at quiet conditions once again and no measurable rain for the month of October. As we're looking at clear skies as high pressure builds and this is warm high pressure, so we're looking at near record high temperatures later today. Drive cast this morning, dry and mild conditions this morning for the PM community. I gave it the green light at four o'clock, but then the yellow light for the kiddos that are starting to trick or treat at five o'clock. So be extra careful. Drive slower. Remember, another way to get your forecast is the Coast TV First Alert weather phone. It's sponsored by Baird, Mandalas, Broxted and Federico. Yeah, it was a scary morning in Lewis on Wednesday as a roof collapse was reported in the Tower Hill neighborhood. Here's aerial footage of that neighborhood. Cause of the details are still unknown as this is an ongoing investigation, but the Lewis Fire Department confirms three people were taken to the hospital on that call. Increased coverage for detecting prostate cancer. Delaware Governor Carney has signed a new bill that will make Delaware the eighth state in the nation to enhance coverage of prostate cancer screenings for high-risk men. This bill will eliminate the cost for certain patients to get those screenings. It's estimated over 1,300 Delawareans will get a prostate cancer diagnosis this year. African American men and those with a first degree relative with a prostate cancer history are in a higher risk categories. As you just heard, the Los Angeles Dodgers have won the World Series. They beat the New York Yankees 7-6 in Game 5 Wednesday night. And this is the Dodgers' second World Series championship in five seasons. And afterwards, fans took to the streets to celebrate the big win.
Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. The Delaware Field Hockey State Playoffs kicked off last night. The first round of the Delaware D2 State Tournament saw a pair of local squads face off. It's the number eight seeded Lake Forest hosting number nine Indian River. The Spartans looking for their second victory over IR in six days. First quarter, Ryla McCloskey dodges IR defenders and her shot flies past the keeper. McCloskey opens the scoring and puts the Spartans ahead one nothing. Same quarter, Savannah Messick finds Lacey Hudson, but Zoe Quillen with the tackle to keep the IR keeper help with the save but Lake keeps the pressure on. Bryn String with the flick in front and it's Hudson there to push it against the backboard. Spartans take the 2-0 lead. Moving to the second, same score. Ashley Robbins on the move, crosses it to the net, but Quillen steps up and kicks it away. A big clear over the sideline for Indian River. But shortly after, Hudson back on the case for Lake. Shoots and scores to the opposite side of the cage. Spartans up 3-0. On to the second half. Lake now up 4-0. McCloskey evading defenders and a reverse sweep to Messick who does the rest. Tipping in the Spartans' fifth tally of the game. And that would be enough in the end as Lake Forest defeats Indian River 6-0. Lake Forest moves on to the quarterfinals of the D2 State Tournament to face Newark Charter on Saturday. That'll do it for sports. Have a great day, everyone. And coming up on DSN today at 5.30, it is the high school football scoops and scores pregame show that's followed by Bayside Conference football. Ken Island taking on Queen Anne's at 11 p.m. Stay tuned for the final score. And on DSN Plus at 4 p.m., you can only see this on the app. Watch Stephen Decatur take on Parkside in high school football. And then at 6, it is that Ken Island Queen Anne's game. Has it maybe been a rough week? Either way, don't forget you can cheer up with a weekly dose of good news from Coast TV. We have personal features, fun things to do each weekend, and more. You can sign up at coasttv.com slash sign up. You'll get a weekly dose of joy sent directly to your inbox on Fridays. I'm thinking a warm Halloween will cheer a lot of folks up. 66 in Ocean City this morning on our dry tech camera. A very warm Halloween in store for Del Mar, but one of the warmest on record. Plus, we've tied the record for consecutive dry days in Delaware. More on that, plus a cooler weekend forecast. Your details in two minutes. Hi y'all, it's April from Coast Country, and every Tuesday I get the honor of highlighting an amazing teacher right here on Del Marvo with Teacher Feature. If you know a teacher who deserves some extra love, those who go above and beyond every day, head to coastcountry.com and nominate them today. Then tune in each Tuesday to hear their story. Teacher Feature right here every Tuesday at 11 on Coast Country 1039 and 1063. Sponsored by Coastal Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning and Vernon Powell Shoes. In Sussex County, Beach Mobile Home and RV Supply has the parts you need. Powered by over 30,000 square feet of inventory at brass sales and an amazingly knowledgeable staff, we offer plumbing, electrical, windows, doors, tubs, showers, and even roofing and skirting for your manufactured home. Plus an extensive selection of parts and supplies for your RV no matter the class, size, or style. Beach Mobile Home and RV Supply in Long Neck, Delaware. Your home improvement superstore for all your manufactured housing and RV needs. Hi, this is Amber Brazier. Welcome to Brazier's Carpet Care. Drop off your rugs today or have us pick them up and let our state-of-the-art cleaning plant do the rest. Many methods are used to clean rugs, from air dusting to remove fine soil to soaking in our whirlpool. Hand knotted rugs are carefully washed, rinsed with cold water and wrung out, followed by a trip through the centrifuge before entering our controlled temperature drying room. We also repair all types of rugs from braided to hand knotted. Quality cleaning by people who care. That's Brazier's Carpet Care. Lupo Italian Kitchen in downtown Rehoboth Beach has been serving award-winning Italian food since 2008. Located inside the Hotel Rehoboth, Lupo serves traditional and coastal Italian cuisine, pairing Mediterranean flavors with fresh seafood and local produce. Lupo has an extensive all-Italian wine list, monthly wine dinners, and a friendly and knowledgeable staff. Popular dishes include chicken parmesan, lobster bucatini, and veal meatballs. Lupo Italian Kitchen on Rehoboth Avenue, serving happy hour daily and open seven days a week. See you soon. 
It is 549 on your Thursday on your Halloween morning. We're going to go now take a live look at Ocean City. And Bob, you know, you were talking earlier about not one of those Halloweens really where you got to wear the thermals underneath your costume, heavy jacket. No. You can let your costume show a little bit today. Absolutely. And when I was young, my mom would say, How, you have to put on a jacket yep. because it's cold. I'm like, that's going to ruin my costume. I don't want to do that. But <laughs> don't have to worry about that today. Uh, yeah, you can dress uh, lightly, dress for summer almost, as we're looking at very warm conditions. It is frighteningly warm as we go through today. I'm forecasting a high of 81, and 81 was back in 1946, 1950, and 2019. So we've had some warm Halloweens in Georgetown, 80 in 2004, and then 78, 1961, 1996, and 2009. So uh, we're not alone as far as warm Halloweens, and they're certainly nice to see. We'll be in the 70s for the trick or treaters early on this evening, then falling into the 60s with breezy conditions. Of course, the bad news is now we've got 30 four consecutive days without rain and that ties the record of top five driest periods in Georgetown since 1945 and you can see uh, we have tied 2001 and we're going to eclipse that we'll be in first place tomorrow all alone as the dry streak continues temperatures in the 60s out the door 63 in Seaford and Georgetown 67 Ocean City where hope is 65 winds are light from the southwest but they'll be picking up during the day get breezy and that will elevate the fire danger as we go into the air afternoon. Definitely have to watch out for that as the drought continues looking at very dry conditions. Building ridge of high pressure. You can see this upside down U shape with this ridge. We've got sinking air under this ridge and the flow out of the southwest all adds up to a very warm Halloween. We've got severe weather across the nation's midsection. Warm air out ahead of it and cold air behind it. So they've got severe weather and tornadoes out there. This front will weaken as it gets to us with just maybe a little bit of rain. It's going to fall apart as it does so. So Futurecast has a very warm Halloween on the way. By noon, we're into the upper 70s, right around 80 in Long Neck. A lot of areas in the lower 80s later on, 70s at the coast. Breezy too, warm for the trick-or-treaters this evening. We've got the cloud cover tonight, and with the breezy conditions, we're in the 60s Friday morning. And as that front moves in Friday, I'm hoping for a little bit of rain, maybe a sprinkle later in the morning or early afternoon. Otherwise, we'll start to see those winds shift to the north as we go into Saturday and much cooler 40s and 50s to start the day and then by Saturday afternoon we're only into the 60s for highs as we're looking at winds coming in out of the southwest and this will once again elevate the fire danger gusting to 30 miles per hour times as we go through tonight into Friday morning and it stays windy obviously no rain with that front is a problem and then the wind shift to the northwest behind that front as we go into the weekend as it stays dry through the weekend maybe more clouds Monday than right now election day looks dry with sun and clouds and the winds coming out of the south, that means, well, another warm up on the way. Paul Davis, seven day forecast, 81 for your Halloween. Then we're looking at 80 for Friday, another warm one. Then sharply cooler into the weekend, 44 Saturday morning, Saturday 64. Remember, clocks go back one hour. Daylight saving time ends Sunday morning. Change the batteries in the smoke detector and CO detectors too. 65 there, then another big warm up. We're up to 78 by election day and partly cloudy skies. Thank you, Bob. This morning, a Milford man and a Milford woman facing felony charges from a burglary. This was at a house on Southeast 2nd Street. You can see the general area right now on your screen. And officers there found a broken window. They found two people inside, and they were 56-year-old Eddie Roundtree and 52-year-old Yvonne Pickle. They were arrested, and knife and drug paraphernalia were found at that time. Both were committed to the Department of Correction. One man is now facing charges after a standoff in Dover Wednesday morning. Police say they arrested 36-year-old Michael Moran on Holmes Street. And you can see the heavy police presence right there from our Coast Copter. Police say a victim reported Moran inside their home around 1.40 a.m. with six children also present. The victim said that he was not supposed to be there. He allegedly pointed a gun at officers before then barricading himself inside. Police say it was just before 11 a.m. Moran surrendered. Thankfully, no one there was hurt. Got a heads up for you here. If you do plan on watching the Today Show Friday, November 1st, tomorrow morning, we want to warn you, a graphic campaign ad related to abortion will air. Under law, TV stations are required to air ads for federally qualified candidates without censorship. So please be aware of this. Weather-wise, we're looking at starry skies this morning. A warm start to our Halloween. It's going to be near-record warmth for the ghosts and goblins later today. One of the warmest on record. And once again, we've also tied the consecutive dry days in Delaware. 
Plus, a cooler weekend is in store. I'll have your 10-day forecast coming up next. Coverage on the road, in your community, along the coast. The IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep, live on the street, day or night. From breaking news to weather in your town, the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. Coverage you can count on. Have you ever needed some help with selection and design layout in your renovated tile bathroom project, kitchen backsplash, or any other tile project? You don't have to go across the bridge. The professionals at East Coast Tile and Flooring offer the largest selection to assist architects, designers, and homeowners on any size project in all price ranges. East Coast Tile and Flooring has the quality, knowledge, and expertise you need. Call East Coast Tile and Flooring today for a design consultation. As a math teacher, Matt Meyer knows that Delaware's tax system isn't adding up, so he has a plan to fix it. Give middle-class families a tax cut, invest in schools, and lower costs. But Mike Ramone's plan gives tax breaks to the ultra-rich, which could cut education by nearly $175 million. Matt Meyer knows these numbers don't add up. He'll make state taxes fair so families can get ahead. Vote Matt Meyer for governor. Fall is upon us, and this season brings beautiful meaning to Delmarva. However, some critters are now looking for a new home. At Bennett Termite, we are dedicated to navigating these challenges, no matter what the season. After all, for fall, who wants to deal with spiders and annoying crickets? So, while I always say my tagline, please know that I truly stand behind our services. We are a local, veteran-owned company that works hard to stand behind our mission. Hey, bath guy, do you do roofs? Nope. Do you do lawns? Negatory. Do you do windows and siding? Not a chance. At Peninsula Bath, we're your local pros for bathroom remodeling, and that's it. Top quality, customer focus, and competitively priced. Ask about our free shower door upgrade and our neediest bathroom contest. Hey, Dad, can you take out the trash? No, son, not a chance. Peninsula Bath. Hi, this is Jimmy Hoppe inviting you to join us as we take the cross to the country. Christian country and Southern gospel all to celebrate our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Taking the cross to the country, Sunday mornings at 8 on Coast Country. Sponsored by Fitzgerald Salvage and Recycling. All right, time is now 5.56 this morning. It's time to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day. All right, today's Coastal Pet of the Day on your screen. Showing off a Halloween costume, that's Esmeralda. She loves dressing up for the event. Has a blast at Sea Witch Festival every year, don't we Aww. all? And she was submitted to us by Tammy in Millsboro. We also saw Esmeralda's brothers on Coast Life the other day. We did. Yeah, they were dressed as cowboys. Isn't that cute? What a group they got going on there in Millsboro. Good costumes. Don't forget, send us all your pets, especially if they're in costumes. They're so cute, and uh, we love to see them. And you can, Matt's going to tell you how to do that. Yeah, we do love to see them. Scan that QR code, get your furry friends to us here, and then. Kick back and watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets we feature. Great idea, Matt. All right, coming up on 558, it's time for a look at your forecast before you head out the door. Hey, Bob, is it okay to go with toasty as an adjective mm -hmm. for today? It is, you know, and guys, I saw a lion at Sea Witch this past weekend, by the way. Oh. No, it was a golden retriever with a lion <laughs> mane. I love that, seeing that. Dressing up the dogs is great for Halloween. Uh, they're going to be pretty warm today, too, the dogs for sure. Uh, we're looking at 70s to uh, 81 degrees. We're going to get pretty close to a record high for our Halloween today. Paul Davis 10 day forecast 81 today, 80 on Friday, cooler 60s for the weekend. Remember clocks go back and then warming up again next week. Election day up to 78, 79 Wednesday, cooling down into the 60s, but dry again for the next 10 days. Coming up at six, more dry weather on Delmarva. What it's like to be a farmer during a drought and how many days it's been since we've had any measurable rain. That and more when Coast TV News Today returns.